but oftentimes on this channel, I ask you guys directly, what do you want to see next? So I went to my page and asked you guys, do you want to see Community Doubles, which had a new map to just drop, Scar Heavies, because it has the tank gun, which is really fun, Ranked Arena, which is a personal favorite mode for me, but overwhelmingly, you guys all said, Husky Raid! So me, being the man of the people, I'm giving you what you want. More Husky Raid. But in this video, I want to do something a little special. In the comment section, I want you guys to tally up if we get any overkills. And I want you to write in, in the comment section how many overkills we got in this video. Because then we'll know for sure who are the people in the comment section who actually watched the entire video and are the real ones out there in the community. Oh my gosh, did just leave a shock rifle just hanging out on the ground here? Um, Let me take advantage of that, my sir. Rocket! Rockets are so clutch in Husky Raid. It's unbelievable how good they are. But the most important thing is that you actually need to land your shots and well, that's not exactly what happened. But if you can make it happen, oh, it's fantastic. It's like one of the best feelings in the game. You got one with that sniper there. Who else wants to peek out? Anybody else wants to party? Like clockwork. So after my fair amount of time I put in my last video when it came to playing Husky Raid, there's a few things I learned about this one compared to the previous ones in Halo 4 and Halo 5. One is that equipment is essential for you to be able to make any type of progress on the map, for you can at least just move forward in any way, like a shroud screen is huge. You can just place that right there at their spawn, block off their line of sight. Massive improvements. Him with that rocket okay there we go the grapple shot is crazy fun well because i mean husky raid is meant to be just a fun mode and obviously the grapple shot's the most fun piece of equipment to use so there you go the threat sensor is super useful as well because you get a chance to kind of see where people are peeking around corners and if you know where the corner they're peeking out of you can get easy headshots for when it comes like sniper rifles skewers shock rifles and all the fun stuff in between the weapon wise i mean this one i have right now in my hand the stalker rifle is really useful pretty much any range weapon is really nice to kind of help suppress enemies to keep them back in their base of course a rocket launcher is great because well it's the rocket launcher sniper rifles fantastic because it keeps people back as well but honestly what feels like the most overpowered item that you can use in the husky raid in, in halo infinite has got to be the cinder shot the cinder shot is nasty in this game because not only one is a super powerful right like it, it gets kills rather efficiently uh, another thing is that when you shoot players, it has like this kind of like gravity effect on them. And so then it kind of sucks them back into where you want them to go. And so then what happens, it kind of throws out players movement and stuff like that. So then they won't be able to kind of do anything. So then basically it takes two shots and you get an easy kill with it. Um, like I am right now with this shock rifle. Let's go. Which I have to send a shot right here. See if we can make something happen with it. As you go, you can track the shot with them as well. So you kind of bend it like back on like right here. Drop wall is clutch as well in this mode. Just because it helps just delay the enemy dealing, dealing damage on you just a little bit more, right? Oh my gosh, see right there. The center shot tracking ability is just so good. This basically, it's just overpowered. Uh, you know, come on. If you're playing Husky Raid, you're not exactly looking for a balanced experience. You're looking for a ridiculous over the top experience right and well husky raid definitely delivers and honestly the battle rifle is actually really useful <laughs> in this mode as well just because well the battle rifle is like effectively a power weapon but of course when you get sniped across the map it makes things way more difficult is my homie trying to use a ravager right now like you're not gonna kill him with the ravager buddy i'm sorry and then you just die like that's what happens when you have a ravager you die now this might be nostalgia talking but i feel like there are way less ties that happen in halo 4s and halo 5s husky raid compared to halo infinite where I feel like almost every match we're playing, it's gonna be a tie. You know how I said at the beginning of this video too, like leave a comment about how many overkills I get? Well, um, don't embarrass me guys, okay? Just don't do that. That's the last thing I want you to do. The main thing I want you to do is like and subscribe. I mean, that's obviously the number one thing, but also number two is don't embarrass me. We got a double. Triple. Oh my God, did I just speak of the devil? No! You know, sometimes just life is pain as a content creator. I would also say that AI scan right here is actually very useful. So you can kind of figure out what's on the map. And so you can kind of walk around and go like, oh, there's rockets on the map or something like that. They kind of picked it up because obviously it's not a whole lot of team communication happen. Or you could be like me and just mute everybody because, well, it's the Internet. There's a double. OK, come on. Give me one more. Let's get this back to set triple. Oh, we're sweating. Oh, I didn't know we were doing that this match. This guy I definitely learned the five Ds of dodgeball when trying to play Halo. Oh my God. I got rockets too though, buddy. 
There we go. Killing spree. Lining it up. Okay, we just like hold this flag for just like 30 seconds. That's all we need to do. And then we'll be totally fine afterwards. Oh my god, they're running this flag so hard right now. <laughs> oh my god. He got oh he I killed him in the last second. Please, somebody on the team just do something. Somebody, something. No. <laughs> I swear the matchmaking algorithm in this game is anti Kevin. I love how in Small Hollow you can climb these extra areas that you can't get to previously in the regular Valhalla. Wow, we got the lineup with the headshot. I've seen a lot of people in the comment section also talking about saying they want to see Husky Raid as a permanent playlist. And for a lot of you guys, I can understand that because, like, it's a fun mode, right? Don't get me wrong, like, Husky Raid is great. But. For me, personally, I don't see myself continually playing Husky Raid. And I'll definitely hop on and play it if there's ever like a new update with it or anything like that, like new maps or something. But for the most part, I'm just gonna jump in, play a few times, and then call it a day. I feel like it kind of lacks that staying power that, let's say, like a Team Slayer or Ranked Arena has. Or maybe I'm just a sweaty, crazy boy. You can tell me in the comment section. Apparently, there was one map that on release was completely busted on the spawns they had to take it out. Apparently, it was Corpo, which I was bummed because I've been playing a lot of Cyberpunk recently and I've been really enjoying that game. So seeing a Cyberpunk themed map in Halo, well, you know I was going to be very excited about that. But yeah, Husky Raid has a permanent playlist. I just don't really see that happening anytime soon. It mainly just because like it's like I said, it's a fun mode. You hop in, you blow some stuff up, and then you kind of go about your day. Mainly because I feel like Husky Raid kind of like this mind numbing effect when it comes to just how the gameplay is. Like you can see just how just like I spawn and I'm dead. Like there isn't a whole lot of thought behind it. There really isn't a whole lot of oh my god, we just lost. But if I could respond to all the people in the comments who say they want to see Husky Raid as a permanent playlist i need to ask is your brain okay because i streamed this mode the first night it came out we played for like three hours straight or something kind of like a good amount of time right we put a good amount of time into it and i have to say like my brain was kind of turned into mush afterwards like and like it's a fun mode but it's like i can only take the chaos for so long until i just like can't handle it anymore because it's kind of the blessing and the curse of husky raid that like the kills are just kind of mindless like you don't really need to try from or anything like that you know it's one long hallway and you just shoot I, it can get a little mundane pretty fast though i understand how people can enjoy just playing husky raid over and over and over again because there's this like there's a subgroup of like community members in any game really mainly for first person shooters so like they just love the chaos they want to see the world burn so i don't see husky raid staying for super long i expect to see it just kind of stay for the containment event and then probably call it a, a night or a month which i would be totally fine with that because to me a mode like husky raid is like a game mode it's like oh it's in for the week let's jump in and play it and after that week you're like okay that was uh, enough i need some mental recovery time after that i think bringing husky raid as like a limited time mode for an event is the perfect application for this type of mode in halo but i feel like it's gonna be one of those modes that people say they love to have it you know it needs to be a, it's a staple for halo and then they kind of stop playing by the numbers of the people the population of the players they can't stop playing after a week but the great thing about halo infinite though is that you have the custom game browser right so you can just jump in and if you really want to play husky raid well you know what gosh darn it you can though personally i haven't really delved too much into the custom game browser mainly because when i'm playing i kind of want to make progress on the ballot pass or whatever kind of challenges are in for the week and so that i can get my unlocks and things like that so it kind of hinders me from wanting to actually jump in and play there we go see you give me a sniper rifle i'm actually able to do something in this game and yeah, counter cap those boys there we go i got this return i don't like this flag being out this far there we go they have our flag i doubt that dude come on i'm slaying it out here well he has a battle rifle too okay so he and i both are kind of being the mlg sweaty boys right now Oh, but we got him though. Oh, we got the cinder shot here though. This is the most overpowered weapon for Husky Raid. I yeah, see. I told you, it's just easy. You just kind of shoot in the general direction, and then they just die, which is super nice. And again, see, so you just bounce it off the wall. Easy kills. They got a thirst for this flag. They need to. Oh my God! And they're actually running it. Okay, we got the return. Thank God. No, they're pulling it again. No. 
come on matchmaking algorithm just let me have this one i see this one win and i'll be feeling so much better about myself oh but they're no oh, oh this is a free sale they're full sending it here they're capturing with one second left i hate this so much right now oh my god he died oh <gasps> the flag dropped i don't think they can get it oh no i missed no no they kept it with one second left i'm kidding me dude oh, i i hate it here and we're playing defense here we're actually more offense we're keeping them off the flag here we got a flag carrier this is looking real good there we go we finally got a win and everything was right with the world